This video reviews Pythagoras, but then shows how to use it when you have problems involving two coordinates. Now we all know Pythagoras, which is that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is the hypotenuse. So in this case, 5 squared plus 4 squared is equal to x squared. Now 5 squared is 25, 4 squared is 16, so therefore x squared is 25 plus 16, which is 41. So x is the square root of 41, which can be left either as a third, or we can work it out, root of 41, which just equals 6.4. So x has a length of 6.4. Now in the second one, again Pythagoras, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Again, c is always the hypotenuse. So 12 and a and b are the other two sides. So 8 squared plus y squared equals 12 squared. 8 squared is 64. 12 squared is 144. So y squared is equal to 144 take away 64. So 144 take away 64. y squared is equal to 80. So y is equal to the square root of 80. Root of 80 gives us an answer which is just below 9, it is 8.9. So that is the basic use of Pythagoras. But suppose we're given two coordinates and the question asks for the distance between these two coordinates. Now then, 0, 2 is across 0, up 2. That's my first coordinate. The second one is across 3, up 5. So across 3, up 5. I want to find out this length here. Well, the trick here is to see this as a triangle, like so. So that length there is from 0 to 3. It's got a length of 3. This went from 2 to 5. So that 2 has got a length of 3, and I want the distance, i.e. x. So Pythagoras says that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. a is 3, so 3 squared plus 3 squared is c squared. 3 squared is 9, so 9 plus 9 is c squared, therefore c squared equals 18. So to find c, I do the square root of 18, and the square root of 18 gives us an answer of 4.2. So C has got a length of 4.2.